JBN, we keep you informed. Still no breakthrough in Maypen robbery after two months. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Two months after gunmen shot two policemen and held business operators hostage, in a daring mid-morning heist in Maypen Clarendon, senior police sleuths say they have made no major breakthrough in their probe. At least six heavily harmed gangsters remain on the run after barging into a supermarket before engaging cops in a heated gun battle, using the operators of the supermarket as human shields to make their escape from cops. A constable was shot in the face and a sergeant in the abdomen and groin as the gunmen made off with an estimated $3 million, mobile phones and other valuables valued at approximately $200,000. Days after the incident and after much tough talking by National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang and the Clarendon Police Divisional Command, it was announced that three suspects had been arrested for the shooting. However, those men have since been released. There was not enough to hold them, said Deputy Superintendent Christopher Brown, Head of Investigations to Area 3 Police, which comprises Clarendon, St. Elizabeth and Manchester. Brown could not immediately say when the suspects were let go or whether they were being investigated for other crimes in the parish. He noted, however, that investigators have been employing a slew of strategies to ensure that the trail for those responsible for the heist does not go cold. Since the incident, a shotgun, three M16 magazines, and a 9mm magazine, multiple spent shells, along with almost $500,000 have been recovered. But Brown declined to say what leads have been presented from ballistic investigations. The team remains committed and wishes to reassure the public that we are exploring and seizing all opportunities to ensure we bring this matter to a successful closure, he said. In recent weeks, the team has recovered six stolen vehicles, several illegal guns, and in excess of 500 assorted rounds of ammunition. Brown's reassurance was welcomed by residents of some Clarendon communities, but they remained fearful. Nobody in Aga want to talk about that. The man they will pull off that are the body set a man in a pen. Everybody know that, said one male resident when pressed. Meanwhile, some residents have renewed calls to Clarendon to be declared a zone of special operations in a bid to curb crime there. Last Thursday, Mike Henry, Member of Parliament for Central Clarendon, don't play allegations that the gunmen were affiliated and protected by politicians in the parish. If that is your information, I don't know about that, he said noting that it would take some time for newly appointed head senior superintendent Glenford Miller to make progress in Clarendon. Two Wednesdays ago, Miller told a monthly business improvement district meeting in Maypen that his aim was to make Maypen safe for people to do business. I'm not going to tell you that I'm here to work a miracle. I can tell you that I am here to work. We are trying to look at what is happening, look to see how we can serve communities, and trying to see how we can fix the problem, he said adding that effective policing in Maypen is critical for safety in the parish. Custis and chairman of the Clarendon Crime Prevention Committee, William Chogori, said that the body has been carrying out several initiatives aimed at reaching unattached youth. He said that he is confident that those measures will bear fruit, but said that this would only be possible if residents supported the police. Clarendon crime figures for January 1 to June 30, 2019, murders 70, shootings 55, and robberies 32. When compared to January 1 to June 30, 2018, murders were 76, shootings 39, and robberies 21. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.